Howdy folks, how's it going? So, since the dawn of time, man has asked questions. Some of these questions are big, like, who am I? Is there a God? Why do farts make people laugh? Some questions are not so big, like, which screen should I go for on my Casio G-Shock? Should I go for a negative screen? Or should I go for a standard LCD? Now, this is a tricky question to answer because there are a lot of factors going on here. But either way, we're going to try and get to the bottom of this one for you guys tonight. And it's not going to be some wishy-washy, oh, I don't know, it's going to be pure science. We're going to use science to answer this very pressing and important question. <laughs> I'll come on to the how in a minute, but okay, so what we have here, we've got the, um, this is the GWB on our left, this is the GWB 5600BC1BER, if you want to be very pedantic, and on our right we have the GWM 5610ER. Now both of these are pretty recent G-Shocks, um, similar cost, the GWB on the left here does cost a bit more, but they're both roughly between $100 and $200. Um, you can get this one for a little bit less. I actually picked up this one for £75. But anyway, my point being, these are both quite recent G-Shocks and one of them has one sort of screen and the other one has another kind of screen. So I think these are pretty good, fair comparison buddies. Uh, apples to apples, pretty much, in terms of the watches themselves. And so the only real difference is, is the negative and the standard screen when it comes to legibility and clarity. So, let me explain what we're going to do. By the way, these are both great watches, love them both. This is my scientific equipment. Pretty, pretty impressive, I hope you will agree. We have a shot glass, some blue tack, and a Syrup Genie, which is like a time-lapse device. It's basically a device for, um, it, it enables very, very small movements of the camera to capture time-lapse. So um, you've got, you know, very, very, very fine gears in there. So we can, we can measure our degrees of angle very accurately with this. So yes, yeah, so what we're going to do, we're going to put both of these up on the, um, uh, the, our device, our scientific equipment, and then we're going to measure the viewing angle bothly in the pan axis and in the tilt axis. Uh, so that should give us a really good idea. We're also going to have a look at the backlight for both of these. They're quite different backlights on these, but we're going to compare that as well, just to see how that fares with these different uh, screens. And I'll also do one more test. Uh, at the moment, the light, as you can probably tell, the light is di mounted directly on top of the camera, but we'll also do a test with the, the light mounted off axis, so off to one side, and then do the same uh, test so we can get a good idea of whether um, the light angle is a big factor, and by the way, it is. Anyway, so let's crack on with it, and uh, yeah, this is a fun Saturday night for me. <laughs> let's get on with it.
Okay, and on to the results. So, as you probably noticed, the uh, standard LCD uh, beat the negative LCD in each category. Um, some of them by a large amount, some of them by a little amount. So, in most categories, the standard LCD only just beat it. Um, but as we can see here from the, the uh, direct light tilt category, that's the one where um, the negative display really, really suffers and the viewing angle is almost half, almost half of the standard LCD. So the tilt one, so that's when the uh, when you're rolling your arm basically. So, you, so you're looking at it from the sort of the up and down tilt. So from the pan, there's not a huge amount in it. So when you're sort of moving the watch from left to right that way, uh, but yeah, with the um, the tilt um, category, that's when you there really is a marked difference. But in every category, the standard LCD did win by either a small amount or a large amount. But you know, this is all pretty silly. Obviously, it's it's you know, if you're looking directly at your watch, you can see your watch very clearly it, it, with either of these displays. So it's not the end of the world. You buy the one that you like the look of, and I like the look of the negative displays. I have more negative display watches than I have standard. Um, so you know, I'm clearly choosing uh, form over function. Uh, but yeah, you know, if you are worried about practicality and you want the most legible uh, display then get a standard lcd this you know this really does i think we kind of knew that anyway but this really shows you exactly uh, the pros and cons anyway guys i know that's a little bit of a silly test for you but uh, i thought i'd uh, share it because i was curious myself um peace out and i hope that was useful